Hey guys, just fully shut it down before you do anything with the laptop. Remove all the screws using your Phillips screwdriver. Okay guys, so you can either pry it up all around it, but the way I do it, I put my finger like that, and I just pull up this bit over here that touches the back cover. So I just do that. It gives me a bit of a crack, and it's just that. Okay. Just careful this connection. It's okay guys um this is your ram ssd and more ssd is working so let's get on with the ram first okay guys so this is the one that was already in it that's samsung 2666v and this is the extra i'm going to be putting in uh same speed although you can do 16 both but it's up to you i don't have that many slots um that many memories okay so this is your small SSD Pull that, don't damage it, don't pull that upward, pull it back. Okay, guys, so we're gonna place our 1TB SSD over here. In case if you do need to buy this cable because sometimes it doesn't come with it, this is the part number, you can order one for yourself right there okay so one thing you do need however is because this one doesn't have the screws so you might need four small screws like this um if you don't have it simply tape it up Okay, so we have 16 gig um, and then we have one terabyte WD SSD which is 2.5 and then we have 256 NVMe SSD which is the M2 small one. So there you have it.